Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is day 13 of the 31 days of Halloween challenge and I am going to show you how I made my own Beetlejuice inspired Halloween wreath for Halloween but mostly for work and I had so much fun making this. It's really really awesome. Well anyone would say that about their own things that they make but I really really liked this idea that I came up with and so without further ado let's get on with the video and the pattern we are using is McCall's 6453 and you're gonna be needing four different types of fabric um, doesn't matter as long as they're you know cohesive with amongst each other you may need to bring a fifth fabric for lining but I use the front and back of the same fabrics that I picked for this design. This pattern doesn't have a different sizing so cut out the tissue pattern and you're going to cut out four of each of the four fabric pieces you've picked. I didn't cut interfacing. I just realized this but I didn't use interfacing on my wreath. After you cut your pieces you can pin on one side going one way. There are no particular order for your pieces. It's whatever you want to do. Once you pin all your pieces together start stitching half an inch on every single row. When doing your lining, make sure you stitch the opposite seam lines so that when you lay it on top of each other, they will match perfectly with the front and back. Once you stitch your lining piece together, match all seam lines. Once you have finished pinning, you're going to do half an inch on the outside of the wreath completely and then you're going to work on the inner and then you're going to leave the opening on the sides of the wreath. After sewing your seams, we're going to turn this wreath inside out. For this part, with right sides together, you kind of want to sew not the entire opening you want to do half because you need that space for stuffing so just do the best you can when it comes to this and take your time and also half an inch and then we're gonna stuff it away when stuffing it don't put too much near the opening because you will need to sew the opening by hand with a slip stitch method Because I want to be a little extra with my wreath. So I will be adding some spiders with some hot glue. And you can easily get these spiders at the dollar store. I'm pretty certain I have them somewhere in my house. But I can't find them anywhere. So I had to go out and buy new ones. I don't want to put a lot of spiders on this display. I kind of just want to put a few here and there. Kind of going with the flow. Because I am adding extra stuff to it.
So I forgot to get some tool cut, but at the dollar store they had tools, so I grabbed the sparkly black tool and I simply just grabbed the entire roll, wrapped it around a couple of times, and made a cute little bow with it. Okay, I never worked with this product in my life, but it's kind of a pain, but I ended up getting spiderweb stuff, and I only used a little bit to make it a bit spooky. It was a mess. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not used to this stuff, and I had a hard time playing with it. I think it took me like an hour to actually finally be okay on how it was placed on my wreath. Uh, but I have a little extra to put around in my house, so there's a silver lining. Um, I don't know if I would ever work with it later on, but it does do a, a nice touch on the wreath, and I'm fairly happy with it. What I was trying to do was to have it in a good setting where it's going to hold the next product I'm going to be attaching to it because it is hanging at work. So I had to make it, like, almost... A net for the next product uh, I did fix it however at work so whatever I was trying to do here I, I changed it up when I was there but yeah that's why I was at this for a while because the next product is lights two sets of these that are held by AA batteries the battery pack is quite large um, I just wanted to hide it in the spider web but I actually stuffed it at work in the ribbon so you can't see it and actually it looks better that way honestly I should have done the lights first and then used the webbing but I, I was worried that the webbing was gonna cover the lights um, brightness at work so this was not fun <laughs> I, I'm gonna let you know this now it took me a while to actually get the lights around the wreath the way I want it to be um, but it, it did work in my favor after a while I finally was happy with it and this is what it looks like with everything including the two sets of lights it's really really bright when I turn around this footage you'll see that's exactly what I was trying to do with the web but when I actually took it to work it kind of got out of place and the web got loose so I decided to put it again in the ribbon and that is it guys on how I made my Beetlejuice inspired Halloween wreath for Halloween and for work I hope you guys like this video and if you did please give this video a nice like and if you want to follow me and my other social media accounts all the links are down below in the description box as well make sure you subscribe to my channel to see further content i will be doing for the rest of october for the 31 days of Halloween challenge and as always guys i like to say thank you guys so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i will see you all in tomorrow's video take care bye